Hi, it's Elise from the blog Le Petit Saint Crochet, and today I am answering your burning question. I know it's keeping you up at night. What's the difference between crocheting and knitting amigurumi? The first difference is the fabric that it creates. In crochet, it creates kind of a knobby texture. It's a really thick, nice fabric. It's very structured. With knitting, you have a more delicate fabric that is a lot more flexible and squishy. The second difference is in construction. In crocheting amigurumi, it is typically done in the round and you either start at the top and you work down, you start at the bottom and you work up, or you might work from the snout and work back. So that is crocheting. Knitting, this kind of blew my mind for a little while, it's flat. You knit it flat. Not all of them are knit flat, but this pattern from Mary Jane's Tea Room, this is knit flat and then you seam it together. The third difference is how you seam your pieces together. In crochet, you seam like the arm on, maybe the head, the snout, and it is a technique and I'm gonna link it in the blog post to the actual video that I use. Now, for knitting, you use a mattress seam for all of those flat pieces. And it takes time and I'm still learning how to do it because I'm not doing it that great, but I'm working on it. So I will link a video for how to um, do the mattress seam as well in the blog post. The fourth difference between knitting and crocheting amigurumi is stuffing. Stuffing is hugely different. You can stuff this sucker all you want. He's not changing his shape at all. This guy, you have to be really careful how you stuff him because the stuffing can cause him to distort um, the shape and he really has to be stuffed quite carefully, um, especially in those little facial features. The fifth and final difference in crocheting and knitting amigurumi is the final product. This little guy, crocheted little wool from the Animal Friends of Pika Pal book, is he's a sturdy guy. He is very structured and he feels really good. He's got a lot of texture to him. Now our little teddy bear from Mary Jane's Tea Room is very different in his final product. He is squishy and bendy and soft and cuddly. So they're very, very different. Two different techniques, both of them make a wonderful animal, a little teddy bear and a little wolf. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video and thanks so much for coming by.